Zena Warthog Princess, and this will be a quick haul for Vera Bradley and Kipling, um, both who just recently had a sale. Um, from Vera, I got, I actually only bought one item. It is the Zip ID and Lanyard, the combination one, and this one is in Harry Potter Gryffindor Elements. And it retails for 35. Unfortunately, because it's Harry Potter, it was not on sale and may never. I don't know, you can't say never because that's what they used to say about the Disney, but the Disney has gone on sale, so anyways. Um, but I didn't want to wait and I did want to buy one item because I had to buy something in order to get the free masks, which you'll see next. But anyways, I got the Gryffindor, so you can see the elements, the different pieces that they have in there. Um, it looks like there's a bit of floral, and then it says courage, bravery, determination. Um, really, that's all I can read. And then in the background, kind of in the silhouettes, it has the Gryffindor lion there. And on the inside, it has the stripes, and same thing on the ribbon poles, which I like. And this is Harry Potter on one and Vera Bradley on the other. I really like this. It's a nice touch. Um, and then the lanyard is just the matching lanyard. And it does have the old style of clips, which I actually prefer. I know some people have said that they had issues with them coming open unintentionally. I've never had that happen, but I'm not saying it couldn't. It just, I've just thankfully not experienced that. But anyway, so that was the one item I bought. Y'all know I don't need another lanyard, but I am going to Orlando for the month of September. And so I will get some good use out of that at the parks and around town that and all the Disney ones. Um, and this is the pleated mask, adult size, and it's a two pack, and this came for free. This was their recent promotion that they had. And these normally retail for $24 for two, which I think is quite a lot, $12 for one mask, honestly. Um, but they've been really on sale with their masks lately. I think they're starting to feel the pinch of the pandemic winding down perhaps, but for me, I have other health concerns that I will wear masks probably till I die. Now, not like everywhere all the time, but I, I have to be very careful not to catch a cold because as you may or may not know, I end up in the hospital for a month puking if that happens. So it's just my weird body. Okay, you know what? This is not wanting to open. I don't need to save the box though, so that's okay. Um, okay, on here, they're clipped together. It is two pleated masks. These type of masks do have the fitted nose piece that's bendable in there in the top. So that's how you can tell top and bottom. But you also have this handy dandy little tag there. This says Harry Potter and Vera Bradley. So <clears throat> you just make the words upright and that will also help. This is the kind that is currently configured for over the head. It does have an adjustable piece on there as well. If you don't care for that type, you can cut them to go over your ear. Since this is the one I will probably wear in the park, one of these, I might leave it as over the head so that I can keep the pressure off the back of my ears. And I'll be changing masks a lot for the day. I need to wash those before I wear them, wear them, but, but these are quite nice. They fit nicely. I do prefer the fitted ones, generally speaking. They just fit my face better, but but these will be great as well. And the, oh, sorry. This one is the same pattern as a Zip ID. The other one is just a maroon and it has that stripey trim on the outer edge. And the back of both is just black. So anyways, they're still very much Harry Potter, but um, because I sweat so much and it will be a September in Orlando um, and I will be there for so long, I will be able to do laundry, but anyways gonna need multiple masks. So that's all I got for the Vera Bradley. Then Kipling had a big warehouse sale. So I grabbed a few items um, because you know me and my pouches really and it's hard to pass up a good deal. But Kipling, this first item is the Metallic Glow Sabo, S-A-B-O, Sabo pouch. And it's, it's kind of squishy because there's no stuffing in it. But it's kind of like Oh, what is the name of the lug one? Um, you know, the rectangular one like this. Sorry, I'm not thinking of the name for some reason. Not the canoe. Oh my goodness. Hi. Let's go. Not the other. But inside is different anyway, so it's not really the same same. This one has some organization. So it's just a pouch. I thought it would be great like pencil pouch and like office supplies and such. 
for planners and things because it has the big open middle section. It has a second section that is pretty good size. You have a zipper pouch there in the middle. And on the other side, you have these um, little slips. So this one's medium, this one's small, and then this one is big. But you could put things in here like an eraser and your whiteout tape and, you know, paper clips, whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but I had some ideas for it. So anyways, it's, it's a kind of cool metallic. The other thing about this is the zipper is pretty Kipling standard. But now they don't have those fuzzy gorillas anymore. They have these little ones on there. And on my last order, I did get one of these. It was like a little rubber guy. I really didn't like that. I also don't like the metal ones, but I do like it better than I like the rubber ones. So there's that. So the items I picked all had, coincidentally, actually, I got lucky, but they all had metallic. So it's a, it's a metal bag charm, essentially. So if you want to pull that off and use it somewhere else, it's at least a silver bag charm. Okay. Anyways, this other one, this one is more of a subdued color, like a, not quite gunmetal, but this is the Gila pouch, or Hila, I'm not sure if it's Hila or Gila, H-I-L-A, in granite slate, which is, you know, it's kind of like a black composite looking on there, and then the side is actually the granite slate, so it's like a dark heather, really, is kind of what it is. And then on the top, it has the medallion, and there's the gorilla. And you know, the other ones were named. They had a name on them. I don't think these ones have names because there's no place to put the name on it. So that's a double sucky thing. I think they need to go back to the other ones. What do I know? Um, but this is kind of like a double decker, but it's a different configuration. I do kind of wish it had a handle on the side or the back or the top or somewhere. There's no handle, so you kinda just gotta grab it. But it zips around the middle, so you open it up. It does lay flat, but then it has two mesh compartments, one on either side. So you can put all sorts of different things in here. It also has a vertical mesh pocket inside of the mesh section. Let's see what the other side has. The other side is just a plain pocket. But these have some pretty good depth to them. So I thought this could be, I mean, it could be a pencil pouch, for example, and you have like your planner supplies on both sides and you can open it up, lay it out, and then pick your pens. Not optimum, actually. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use this for. I might use it as a first aid kit. I think this would be great for that, like for the car, so you have a lot of extra stuff. And this part right here feels like a, like, I don't want to say rubbery, but kind of does feel like rubbery. Anyway, so and it's pretty robust. It's outdoorsy. You know, maybe I'll make it um, either in the truck, because this actually matches my truck, or in the trailer as a first aid kit. Kind of maybe the primary option for that. Then I got this little wallet. This is the new money wallet in gray. Shocking, right? Just gray. Um, but I kind of like it. This reminds me a little bit of the splits but it's sort of different, uh, it's its own thing. So it has a flip snap tab and you open it up and you have your three card slots and then you have three, not three more, but you have another slot there. You have two, and these are mesh, they're not plastic, but you can see through them very nicely. And then behind that you have your dollar bill drawer. So you got some extra cards in there, so it's kind of different. I like it and it says live light but it doesn't say RFID anywhere so I wonder I don't know hi Kelly come on yeah she always has to help me I know yeah I know we went next door and ran around that's why my hair's wet we had to shower huh I know okay get off. good girl uh, but here's the back and that's why I said it kind of is like the splits because it has two compartments it's not nearly as compartmentalized, but yeah, so it can carry a lot of cards or whatever you want in there. But it's a good size, so a slimmer trimmer, wallet option, and it's a neutral color, so I figure it will go with a lot of different things. And the last item I got, this is something that I have had before. This is the Creativity Pouch in Extra Large, 
and it is black peppery is the color. So again, it's kind of like a dark heather. I think it goes very nicely with the granite slates, honestly, and even with the grays, they match. Well, coordinate, not match. But it has a nice big zipper pull. It has the chunky zipper on the outer, but then you have all these different compartments inside. You have one there and one there. And then the middle compartment, you have actually three more. So you have a slip there, a slip there, and then you have the actual zipper part right in the middle. So all told, you have two, four, five sections. Obviously, this has some capacity to bulk out, you know, because they're, they kind of can fan out a little bit like that. And there you can see the bottom side, um, but it's limited. So you, you can't like seriously bulk it out, but it'd be a nice wristlet or, you know, miscellaneous pouch for any number of things. And I think it'll go good with a lot of other pouches. The wristlet strap is removable and it does again have that silver Gorilla on there, silver colored. So I got um, two silver ones and a, maybe call it bronze. But that's it. That is the Kipling and Vera Bradley. So just a small haul, but got some great deals on some things and happy to have them. So tomorrow I'm expecting, hopefully, my Lug Live surprise box and a couple other items that I ordered at the same time. And I have a Stephanie Dawn haul, which I'll do tomorrow as well. And I'm waiting for all the rest of my Jujube still to come in. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.